coders welcome day by school day 23 session of mastering spring boot okay in this session we are learning uh, to create a jar and a war file in a spring boot application okay so if you are new to our channel i highly suggest you to subscribe to our channel and click on a bell icon so whenever uh, we upload a new video you get a notification of that okay so whenever up our development is done we need to push the application to a production okay so there are two way to deploy application to a production one is creating a jar file and directly uh, run with a jar, uh, java command and second way is uh, create a war file and deploy to apache tomcat okay so let's discuss both okay so first way uh, by using a jar okay when uh, spring boot come with the apache tomcat embed apache tomcat okay so that reason we don't need to uh, external tomcat for that okay so what we are doing uh, we create a jar file we first deploy a java and just run our a uh, jar file using a uh, java command okay the second approach is basically creating a war file okay so in my personal experience second approach is a, one of the best approach because what happen sometime heavy load uh, come to our system and heap memory suddenly increase and our tomcat goes down so we need to restart that okay we can achieve that using linux command but uh, need to write lots of script for this okay so it is not a best practice so if we install a java then we install a uh, apache tomcat in that apache tomcat we install a war file okay so it's manage everything for us like checking the heap memory restarting our system then uh, security stuff then uh, https uh, configuration all those stuff okay so uh, let's uh, create both file uh, i am using intellij you can use eclipse also uh, to create a jar and war file okay so in a pom.xml file okay first we have artifact okay artifact is nothing but uh, your project name then version over there okay so when you create a jar file so it's a uh, create like block hyphen 1.0.0.1 okay so uh, here maven option over there maybe in your id option come in a, a any other section okay you can search that okay so for that we need to first create on a clean command okay so after a uh, click on clean command uh, whatever file present in a target folder it's basically remove that okay so our clean process is completed maven clean after that uh, we need to click on install maven install okay so when we click on maven install automatically whatever dependency we added in pom file it download that and uh, combine all those cl classes and create a jar file for us okay you can achieve that using uh, a maven command also you can uh, try that if you want okay so our all dependency is downloading and our uh, jar file create successfully so in your project level uh, one target uh, folder will be created okay so that target folder contain this uh, jar file okay so if you want to create a war file for that basically three step over there first you need to add one key which is uh, uh, which is a packaging okay okay so in packaging you need to mention a war okay over here after that uh, you need to add a tomcat dependency uh, in your uh, pom file just let me go down at the end add that okay and just rename with a tomcat okay tomcat okay just uh, click on save okay after that adding this uh, tomcat dependency uh, you need to go to a main folder okay so in that main folder so first we need to extend uh, with spring boot application initializer okay so it's help us to run our jar file in a servlet container because we deploy that in a apache tomcat a server okay so after that we need to override this spring uh, spring application builder method so uh, what is use of this spring application builder method basically it's help us to create application contacts okay uh, in that application contacts we are saying our main method is spring boot applications okay so by using this three step we successfully uh, create a, a war file and we successfully deploy to a uh, servlet container okay so uh, let's uh, click on maven this uh, step is same click on uh, clean so whole target folder is deleted after clicking uh, on clean and after the, you need to click on install okay 
So after click on install, automatically downloading all those dependencies for you and uh, the war file will be created. Just wait for uh, two, three seconds. Okay. It's uh, downloading everything for us. Just hold on. Yeah. So build is successfully created and uh, let's check our target folder. Okay. So in a target folder, uh, this uh, war file is created. Okay. So yeah, that's it from today's video. Uh, if you have any question, please write down in comment. If you like our video, give us a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and uh, share with your friends and colleagues and let's meet on next video. Till then, happy coding.